Drift net fishing is an incredibly underlooked training method. I actually didn't know it was decent until relatively recently. It's one of the combination training methods on Fossil Island. This one is for fishing and hunter XP. I was able to obtain an absurd XP rate of 90k fishing XP an hour and 120k hunter. I know for certain higher is possible. On their own, even the individual rates compete fairly well with their respective intensive skill counterpart methods, but when you consider these are combined XP rates, it's actually quite absurd how fast it is, especially considering you can hit the max XP rate at only 70 hunter and fishing. For requirements, they're pretty low. At minimum, you need 44 hunter and 47 fishing. XP rates scale up to 70 hunter and fishing, but it's not a hard drop off at lower levels. This is still the best XP rate for hunter alone from 47 all the way to at least level 73 when you get black chins. At bare minimum stat requirements, the wiki shows 64k fishing XP and 80k hunter. And wiki's rates are on the lower end. To effectively do this, you're also going to need any dragon harpoon or any trident variant, seas or swamp, which could be a challenge on an Iron Man. You're also going to need the diving apparatus from the freeing pirate Pete recipe for disaster subquest and get a flipper's drop from Mogers, as well as having full graceful. Before you head over there, you're going to want to hit the GE and buy a pile of drift nets, stamina potions, and numulite. Use about 100 drift nets an hour. If you want more hunter XP, buy supplies to make birdhouses as well. You're nearby anyways and can do a run when they are up. Bring all your drift nets in noted form. Here's the attire, graceful body, legs, and gloves, fishbowl helmet and diving apparatus, as well as flippers. These provide infinite oxygen and the ability to run. Wear a dig site pendant if doing birdhouse runs, and this activity also benefits from a ring of endurance if you own one. This is my alt and I'm not buying him a ring. For inventory, just bring 8 to 12 staminas, a stack of numulite, and your noted drift nets. Drift net fishing is located right next to the seaweed patches on Fossil Island. Take the boat to the north of the island and then out to sea. Right click the boat and hit dive. Head up to the cave with a mermaid and pay to enter. You can either pay 200 numulite for the day or 20k numulite for permanent access. Enter without your trident on and equip it once inside the main area. Once you get here, grab my tile indicators and import them. Just right click the world map. Right click exchange with the mermaid here to store your nets and pull them out as you use them. Set a net over each barrier. These can hold up to 10 caught fish each before needing to be removed. Go to the drift net plugin and change the tag timeout to a higher tick number. Mine is set to 40 ticks. The basic idea here is fish need to be tagged with your trident in order to be caught in a net. If they're outside of my tile markers when tagged, they will swim directly into a net given the chance. XP is given per fish caught in any net. If a fish was tagged but not outside the markers, if it happens to wander near a net, it can still be caught. This means the priority is tagging any fish near a net first and then moving towards the ones further away and tagging them until more appear closer. The plugin will help you keep track of which fish you have tagged already. If a fish happens to wander near a full net and try to go in, it will reset as though you had never tagged it. When a net is full, you have some options. The intended way is opening the net, which opens a new interface, and clicking the bank icon, which will pay some numulite for the mermaids to bank your catch. If you want medium clues or fossils, you will need to do this. The monetary value from the fish is incredibly low. It's mostly anchovies and sardines, like who cares? The method I use, which was found by my clanmate Saxer Pillar, has you hold the one key down, either with software or a literal wedge of some kind on your keyboard, and then clicking the net. Then clicking it again a tick later to immediately remove and replace it with zero delay. This loses a minor amount of loot, but will speed up your XP rates by 10 to 20%. Absolutely worth it. I also have a tile marked block. When that net fills, you can stand here to prevent fish from going near the net until you replace it. Then they will all enter in single file immediately when you move. Another tech to boost XP rates, the fish tend to clump up by the entrance. If you can tag and also move through them, this will free them and allow them to path around, possibly towards a net which can boost XP. Final efficiency tip is removing nets before they are full if they are close to full and there are a lot of fish to attend to at the other net. I still wasn't doing this in footage. This is a really nuanced tech, but can improve your XP rate significantly as well. Sax in my Discord who found the removal strategy was able to reach 100k fishing XP an hour and 130k hunter XP an hour with some practice. For rewards, should you bank the catches, you can get a lot of fossils, as well as some medium clues, as well as roughly 100k GP in loot. Considering the drift nets cost 200k GP an hour anyways, this isn't profit. 
Charge your kid GP an hour is a really low amount, so sacrificing the loot for more XP is absolutely worth it if you can even do a low moneymaker like herb runs on an account. Drift nets cost about 1.25 GP and XP at level 70 in fishing and hunter, a bit more costly at lower levels. This is an almost negligible amount on almost any account. This is also an okay source of fossils if you bank the loot. I'd personally recommend finishing the museum at Suliasep Woodcutting on an account since that is the best source of fossils in game, and drift nets benefit from quick removal. The point of drift net is basically to pay for EHP and hunter and fishing. One other problem with this skilling method is there is zero pet chance for either skill. This is why it's particularly good in an alt since you don't care about those pets anyway, or if you say already have Heron. For those horrible early hunter levels, this method can't really be beat either. And that's it for the video. Leave a like if you liked it, and or subscribe. Thanks guys.